Hello guys and welcome to Fever 2 and welcome to 75 day hard generative AI learning challenge and this is day 15 and in this video I will tell you about how to implement the transformers with the help of Hugging Face library and I will also implement many kind of NLP tasks from the text classification to text generation to language translation and many more other NLP tasks as well okay so I choose Hugging Face transformers because as you see here it has that it has the models of computer vision NLP audio and along with the multi-model uh, NLP models as well. If you see this, we have a list of wide variety of NLP models here for each kind of NLP task. Okay, so in this video, I will show you how you can use these kind of models for your own applications and do a wide variety of NLP tasks from the text classification to the sentence similarity or the conversational text summarization and many more things as well. Okay, so let's get started and see how it works with the Python. Okay. Okay guys, so let's just start with the Hugging Face library here. So first thing is the text classification. So the basic thing about the Hugging Face library that it has this pipeline function. And in this pipeline function, you can like mention any kind of pre-trained model or any kind of the task that you want to do. Okay, if I just show you the Hugging Face li library here. So it has this kind of a task that what kind of task you want to do and if you have a pre-trained model you want to use you can also mention that pre-trained model you can get the n number of models from here okay these all kind of models do you can use on the base of the tasks that you want to do okay so let's let's just say i want to do about the uh, question answering task so the question answering uh, pre-trained models are there if i choose one of these uh, models as well i can uh give him the task along with my model and then i just give him the question and the context and it can generate the whole answer for me okay so you can like uh, experiment with n numbers of model n numbers of tasks with the help of hugging face transformers here okay so let's just go back to our task and th this is here we use the sentiment an analysis for the text classification here i just give him a sentence and ask us to classify and when it classify, it just tell me that this sentence is positive with the confidence of 99%. Okay, this is how it can be done. And the next thing is text classification with the uh, named entity rec recognition. I just add a pipeline here with the help of NER task. Okay, there is like a main thing as well. If you don't mention any kind of a pre-trained model and any kind of pre-trained uh, LLM there then it can use the defaulted version okay you see it uses the defaulted version for my this task and when I ask him to do the name entity recognition it do like a good boy see here the this is the label of organization organization this is mis uh, miscellaneous with this kind of accuracy here okay the next thing is table question answering the table question answering means if you have a tabular data and you want to generate question answers from that okay uh like to see here i have this data and i convert this data into a data frame and i have a question there about this whole data and my question is that how many movies done the leonardo dicaprio have so i have this data as well i put my pipeline here and along with the model i also mentioned here and then i ask him the question it did the 53 movies which is completely correct okay so this is how you can like uh, build your own tabular data question answering system along with the normal question answering system as well which is here here you have the context and you want to answer a certain question and it can answer it very well in the same way as it did the above as well okay okay now the next next thing is zero shot classification so the zero shot classification one shot classification or like many shots classification the main difference is that the examples so in the zero shot classification you did not give any kind of training examples for the categories that you want to predict in one shot classification you give one example in two shot you give two example in five shot you give five, five examples as well okay so here i use the zero shot so that means that this, this is the text i want to classify i don't give any kind of examples here i directly say to him just classify this text into these three categories and ask him to do the work and it, it says that 
with 93% confidence it says that this is from the technology section and it is quite correct right right the next uh, thing is the language translation the language translation means you want to convert a language from the one language to the another language here it also use the model here it is called helsinki nlp model it takes the piece of your text from one language and turn it into the another i want it to translate the how are you into the another language and if you see it is english to french okay english to french so it just trans uh, translate my this text to the french language here and then i give give him a task about the text summarization as well and in text summarization i also mentioned that we should just uh, maintain the length of 50 uh, characters along with the minimum length of 25 characters so it just summarizes in in the form of this okay so you can get to do the summarization task as well okay so like this is how you can like use this n numbers of models in the hugging face library for each kind of task that it is uh, mentioned here and build your own ai powered apps as well okay because these kind of models are already pre trained you don't need to like to do the any kind of model training or any kind of uh, expense as well okay so with the help of these models you can easily like uh, build your own ai powered apps on many kind of uh, uh, web apps as well so if you guys like this video please share it with your friends and we'll meet in our next video in which i am building a, a nlp based application from uh, these kind of uh, pre trained large language models from hugging face we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much